Hi guys, this is a quick video about testing the interaction effect in a two-way ANOVA. So the first thing you want to do when analyzing this ANOVA table is to look at the interaction effect to see if it's significant. If it is significant, then we shouldn't test for main effects here. We should look at them together, not separate, not in isolation. So we really should look at the interaction always first, decide if there's an interaction effect, and if there is, then we should move on to like a post hoc analysis where we consider these two things paired together and find the best pairing. Um, so in this case, this study was about gas types, so like, you know, essentially high octane versus lower octane, and then different types of cars. So I don't know, maybe luxury car or economy car or something like that. But either way, remember when you're testing interaction, you're testing the null hypothesis that there's no interaction. In this case, there'd be no interaction between gas type and car type. And what they were looking at is mile per gallon performance, right? So if the car was, you know, uh, performed better with a certain type of gas in terms of miles per gallon usage. So regardless though, what we want to pay attention to here is this p-value. The fact that this p-value is so small because it's less than any alpha we would normally use, we can conclude that we're going to reject this null hypothesis. So we're going to reject the idea that there's no interaction, which means we're going to assume there is an interaction. And because this data supports the idea that there's an interaction, we should then not look at these p-values here. We should really just move on to a multiple comparison procedure to kind of look at these things paired up together to find the best pairing. So in other words, there's a best type of gas and a best you know, car type that we should pair it up with that will give us the best miles per gallon performance. That's what we're looking at. So the main idea here is if there's an interaction effect, and that simply means that the p-value is small, lower than alpha, then you should not test for main effects. That's the key idea to remember.